So we got a new e-bike, courtesy of Crooked Path. Pretty excited about this. Ooh, they sent me the white one. Get out of the box. Okay, so this is a folding e-bike and it comes to you fully assembled, just folded. That is very convenient. And here's a charger. All right, let's try to unfold this for the first time. What's the angle of attack here? Painless. Now the stem does a similar kind of motion. It unfolds. Wire is a little bit tight. There we go. Man, that is a decent looking bike. Okay, we're doing this first inaugural ride of the Crooked Path folding e-bike, and it's raining, of course. Uh, before we take it on the ride though, let's do a quick little overview because it's never going to be this clean ever again. So what is there to say? When it comes to this folding e-bike category, there's a lot of folding bikes, but the thing that's special about the Crooked Path offering is that one, it's affordable, and two, it comes with all these nice accessories. Although one huge design flaw of this bike frame is the keyhole is down here. So there we go, now the bike is on. But speaking of all the extra accessories, this bike has integrated headlights and taillights. I can put it on by holding down the plus button for three seconds. And there we go. Now we have the front light on as well as the back. And you're going to notice that if I squeeze any of the brakes, it's also an integrated brake light, which is just another very nice feature to have on a budget bike. The front suspension fork has lockout as well as rebound adjustment. Along with the integration with the brake levers with the tail light in the back, these are hydraulic disc brakes on bigger than average rotors, 180 millimeters. The motor is also a bit stronger than the, the usual in this category at 750 watts and it's full suspension. In fact, I really want to make this bike a project build and change out things like the rear shock, potentially a new hub motor, and really see what this bike is capable of. But that's all in due time. First, we have to take this bike on a ride. Oh yeah, it also comes with a, a little bell, phone mount. So let's do this, we're in pedal assist, let's go in three. And that's three out of five. Nice. This is a uh, half twist throttle. Okay. A little bit different than what I'm used to, but it's not bad. I'm sure you guys noticed, but this has four inch wide fat tires. So on top of the full suspension, that should just add to the ride quality of the bike. And I forgot my freaking gloves. Yeah, the brakes work extremely nice. A lot of stopping power, as you would expect. Uh, I'm noticing when I pedal, the chain is making some noise, so I might have to adjust the derailleur in the back. Let's go to five, mode five here. Nice. Yeah, the seating position is very upright. We're hitting about 25 miles per hour. We have a full charge. It 
is the Onyx home. Let's see what he thinks of this bike. Hey, bruh. I got some new wheels. Yeah, what do you what do you think? What are your first impressions of the bike? Tires are fatter than I thought it would be. Four inch wide fat tires, same as uh, a lot of other bikes. Has integrated headlights and tail lights. And the tail lights, when you squeeze the brakes, boom, it's a brake light too. This section here is amazing. It acts as like a, a handle. Yeah, I can so you could easily pick it up. Yeah, I noticed that right away. It's not too bad. Like compared to the Onyx, nothing. Hey, can you uh, bounce on it real quick? I want to see the, the suspension. Okay, it moves a little bit. The front has some good movement to it. Yeah. yeah, the rear shock, it moves a little bit, but yeah. All right, take it for a spin. Deer. Does look pretty cool. Nice. Nice. It's, uh, yeah, the throttle's definitely not as strong. There's not, uh, nowhere near the same amount of torque, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, it gets you there. Yeah, I mean, no, it definitely does. I mean, I like the design, though. Oh, yeah, it looks good. Uh, but I mean, like, maybe some more power, you can, like, customize it, like, make it be better. Yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do on the, on the channel, make a new series. I've put in, like, a triangle battery right here, a new hub motor, different handlebars, new suspension. I feel like something like this would be fun to build too. Yeah, I think it's a good platform. That's what I, when I look at this in terms of its potential, I see a lot. All right, my bro, keep it real. See you, man, have fun. I'm gonna see you later. Don't get too wet. Okay, I'll try not to. Whoa, oh, ah, ah. <laughs> Almost just whiskey throttle. I'm not used to a twist throttle. <laughs> and the steering is so high up. You didn't see anything. Man, it does have plenty of pickup. Don't listen to Ryan. He's just comparing this against an Onyx, which is not a fair comparison. Okay, but what now? We are going to spread the joy. Uh, eh, I can go this way. There we go. Okay, we're going to go spread the joy and visit another friend. And this pal of mine... Ooh, the bell. This pal of mine, he is a uh, e-bike-less. He doesn't have a bike, and I'm thinking about going on a group ride with him and giving him this bike. So that way you guys can see it from a third person point of view, you can see him riding the bike. And he's also a beginner, and I think this bike is very well suited for somebody of his skill level. So let's go pay him a visit right now and see what he thinks of the bike. Yeah, I mean, the bike, okay, the bike isn't fast, obviously. It's 48 volts, 750 watts, but, I mean, it has all the power my soul desires. I mean, it has 80 newton meters of torque, which, again, it's not the most ever, but it's also a pretty significant figure. I mean, I'm going up a hill right now. The bike did no problem. It dropped down to 22 miles per hour. Right now, I'm going 25 miles per hour, 26, 27, just about. Yeah, this is, this is plenty of speed. I mean, more speed is always great, but this has enough. Oh wow, the fat tires really absorb a lot of bumps. Damn, it's a comfortable ride. Once I change out the seat to something more comfortable, put in better suspension, along with the fat tires, this is gonna be a very comfortable ride. 28 miles an hour just now. The brakes are nice and uh, bitey. The only big question now is the, the range. 14 amp hour battery, not huge, not small. If you can give me 25 miles of actual range, that would be awesome. 25 miles of real life range. That's what I want. Okay, this is my friend's casa. Uh, the dog. A little bit of off-roading here. Yeah, this uh, geared motor has plenty of torque, even on grass like this. 
Yeah, no problem. Looking sharp. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they sent me the white one. Yeah, so what we got here, we have a folding bike, fat tires, full suspension, fenders, a rack, integrated lights. I mean, it really has the whole shebang. There you go. Friend number two. Taking it for a spin. The bike looks both big and small at the same time. <laughs> How does she feel? Honestly, very... What I love about it so far, just in that short ride, Yeah. it's... you feel more in control. Alright bro, I'm glad you enjoyed the bike. Yeah. And tomorrow, in the next video for you guys, he's gonna take it on a ride with us. So that should be very exciting, but until then, keep yeah. it real. Man, I really am enjoying this bike. I think I'm definitely gonna be upgrading this. I was a bit hesitant to, to invest and put a lot of money into this bike, but after riding it, I see its full potential. This thing is fun. So definitely make sure to uh, stay tuned to the channel. The next video should be epic. If you guys are still watching and enjoyed, you guys know that we appreciate a like on the video. Go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Brakes are strong enough to uh, bring you to a skid.